Get on there and uh, the ATSB here. Come up, gentlemen. Okay. And let's blame the technology. So what we will do is let's go straight to you, Mr. Mitchell. Uh, welcome. You know, unfortunately, if you've got an opening statement, please table it. Straight to questions, Senator McKenzie. Also, I think it was Senator Rennick. Oh, Rennick. Senator Rennick. My so apologies. Your, 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 you guys are the officer. Come here. Time. Sean. <laughs> are you guys the National Rail Safety guys, eh? No. no. ATSB, Australian Transport oh, Safety oh, Bureau. Sorry. Oh, well, look, I'll ask you. I think it should be the Office of National Rail Safety, quiet, but I'll put it to you, and then if you can't, you know, if I'm wrong department, wrong department. Look, between 2014 and 2022, uh, there were 322 collisions between trains and cars. Uh, 49 serious injuries and 39 fatalities. Uh, I've been contacted by constituents who believe the trains should have greater lighting, better lighting. Um, have you got a view on that? Can you give us a, a sort of an update or? Yeah, no, Thank you for the question, Senator. Uh, Angus Mitchell, Chief Commissioner of the ATSB. Uh, we have a number of investigations, um, one that have been published and two that are uh, the number, one of them that will be published later on this week, um, regarding train fatalities. We have a safety study which is specifically on heavy vehicles um, and train interactions and there has been a number of fatalities there. That safety study has a number of recommendations and that's likely to be released within the next month. So uh, it will contain to the point that you've just gone to, um, recommendations but also evidence based on some of the, uh, I guess, some of the factors that we've seen that are consistent, um, visibility being one, also the nature of the track that where um, uh, visibility lines, etc. So that will go to the safety study. It's due to be released within the next month, month and a half. And it touches on the lighting issue? It does touch on the lighting. Okay, well, and there has also been work done by ONSA as well when it comes to lighting issues as well, which is probably best directed to um, Peter Doggett. Yeah, sure. OK. Well, thanks for that, and I look forward to getting the report. Cheers. Thanks, Senator. Thank thanks, Senator. Thanks, thanks, if there are any further questions, should we try Mr Doggett one last time? Uh, well, the High Speed Rail Authority would be... Uh, yeah, well, uh, no, Mr well, Doggett, just I'm in your hands, oh, he's here. Oh, Mr sorry, Doggett, sorry. can you hear us? Well, that's your one, uh, Jared. Hi, Mr. Doggett. How are you going? Uh, I'll get straight to the point. Uh, I just did um, talk to the other guys, but I'll just raise it with you as well. Between 2014 and 2022, uh, there were 322 collisions between cars and trains, or you know, road vehicles and trains. 49 serious injuries and 39 fatalities recorded. I've been contacted by constituents who would like better lighting on trains at night. Uh, have you got? Could you give us an update on that, please? We've done uh, a fair bit of research on recent years on this with uh, Monash University. We've worked with RISB, which is the Rail Standards Board, and we are developing a code of practice which will go to ministers for consideration in coming up. So, yes, we all, well, I think we're all on the same page. We want to, we want to improve safety level crossings. Yeah, and, OK, great. OK, and that includes lighting on trains? Yes. Excellent. OK, thank you very much. Thanks.